Look at that. Even the pallet that the rotavator come on makes a nice mirror surround. over uh, me two beds again uh, this time trying the the drag bar which was pointed out by Paul Jones so Paul Jones mate that is much easier now um, I might be able to drive home tonight to be good yeah it's uh doesn't pull like a train so like I say just tipping it back on the drag bar letting it dig in and just tipping it up forward a bit and she moves on to the next bit that it's a top tip, although I probably should have read the instructions or watched some how-tos. As you can see, I'm uh, plagued with the, the horrible ground sheets and polythene and plastic bags. Uh, so, obviously that bed goes up to there and then we've got more polythene starting there. And it goes up to here as well, so you can see there. So I'm assuming all that is, um, is polythene. So I'm going to have to get that up. So that's what I'm going to do for the moment. Um, I'm probably going to encounter it here as well. So no, I just don't want three tiny beds, not in this massive plot. Uh, I would really like to get this one up to here. Then that is the uh, the path in between, or probably there, there. Yeah, if we got to there, that's probably where there was an existing bed. But I don't know why we got why we got polythene down. Um, I'll have a dig down with the spade. I'll get the spade out because it's not very happy at the moment. It's gone rusty and sad because of this. So um, I'll go and give my spade some loving and uh, get this up, and then we'll see where we go from there. And then if there's if I'm lucky enough there's nothing under there then we're we go right through so see you in a minute just when you think everything's okay and a monkey comes along and throws a spanner in the works right so lifted that up because I suspected there was another ground sheet along there and underneath it lo and behold we have the dreaded carpet Lovely. Ah. So the polythene I can reuse for my own pathways where I want to put them. Um, you know, that carpet. Bloody. Keep cool, keep calm. So, uh, it's just the start of another rubbish pile. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, it ain't going to get itself up. Let's get cracking. Yes, that is me heavy breathing. Oh, but I'm guessing we're going to be weed through, <laughs> weed, weed free along this stretch for a while. We'll be pulling loads out of here during the season, but here weed free um, oh crikey oh yeah look at that there's the carpet up there and obviously there was more polythene so we'll get that out but um, time for a brew time to put the kettle on
you can't beat a lovely brew of the allotment. Oh, I must give a shout out to uh, Bod's allotment. Here comes Bob. Uh, there'll be a link in the description to his channel. Uh, Bod is the Orit flag. So he's just up there. Uh, pop across and have a look at his channel. He's doing a, um, a no dig uh, this year. Uh, so I'll be keeping an eye on that, see how he gets on. Um, yeah. Uh, perhaps I should have thought of that earlier. I could have saved myself some money <laughs> with, the <laughs> with the rotavator. So uh, we'll see how he gets on. As you can see, there's no Kim again. I miss Kim. She's uh, been ill over the last month or so. Um, she suffers from um, fibromyalgia and a few other conditions. And um, with the cold weather, she just she's just can't hardly move. Which is a shame, because we do miss her company. Uh, as for myself, I've been quite busy as well. I've, um, if you didn't know, I do, uh, I do a little bit of volunteering work during the week and um, I work for a uh, for two local for two local charities um, one where I, I work in a, uh, a charity shop and the other one where I um, I deliver food um, to food banks and uh, other places like that so uh, yeah it's a uh, it's unfortunately the uh, the sign of times. It's um, it's a growing business. Um, I've been doing that for a number of years now, and when I first started, um, I won't go I won't go too too much into it. But um, like I said, when I when I first started, there was um, you know there may be a few local places we delivered to, but now we're just it's just it's just it's just massive. So yeah, that's what I, that's what I do. Um, and it's the reason why I've not been able to get up here, obviously with the with the darker evenings. Um, I can really really get up here a, a few times a week, which is uh, with everyone really. Uh, so uh, so at the minute the video is going to only be probably only one a week, and hopefully when the lighter evenings start coming in, we'll be able to do a few more, a few more out. But yeah, busy times. So, got a couple of nice big beds there now. That was incredibly hard soil to get through. Uh, <laughs> obviously, um, with the carpet down on it, it compacted really, really solid. But I'm glad I had that. We got through it in the end. Um, so what I'll probably then do later on is go over it a couple of more times. Same again with this one and then go down the edges with the spade and just tidy it up. Um, I'll probably rip this polythene up here and relay it, get rid of all the topsoil, make a nice path. And then it's working out where the other beds are gonna go. I should imagine I may have them up there, put them back away. Have the path come down to the middle. Have another big bed over there and some smaller ones this side although I've got plans for a shed you yeah, look at this this scared the life out of me wasn't it <laughs> I took that up and I thought what's that and I went to pick it up and that absolutely scared me to death hmm right yeah I'm on plans to build another shed so we're gonna have project shed again uh, as you can see from me um my mirror frame I'm very much for uh, recycling and upscaling stuff, um, old recycled stuff. So I'm going to do a, um, a pallet shed. So we'll reclaim wood uh, and pallets and build a nice shed there. That's that's another project. Uh, we're going to build a shed, uh, a shed, a uh, another fence to get rid of all that corrugated iron, and then I'm going to um, another fence. Yeah, 
Did I say fence? I did say fence, didn't I? Not a shed. Build another fence and use the corrugated iron to put it so we can retain this soil wall to stop it from coming over because I think we've used plastic down there and that's no good. And then uh, we'll just get right through with the rotavator. Go all the way through, uh, get a nice level base here and then project shed in the summer again. And I won't do it in the hot weather. And if I do, I'll make sure I've got plenty of drink. Yeah, so we'll um, be up here tomorrow. So hopefully the plan is to remove all that soil, put it over there with the existing soil. Oh, I'm just moving rubbish at a minute. And then get this bed dug up. So then we've got three nice big beds for me potatoes. Uh, it's like I said, it's, this year I want to try and grow, grow stuff that I'm going to use with just, you know, potatoes, onions. Well, we'll, we'll see. Things change, don't they? Things change. As you can see, we've still got polythene here. More polythene there. So obviously, he probably had two small beds here. But we'll make one big one. So we've got three, three large ones. And obviously the plan is to open that entire corner up later on. So there's a lot more rubbish to, to get rid of. Obviously the old compost, compost bin. They completely want to get rid of that and open that corner up. So big plans. Big plans afoot. But yeah, that's Kim's Flower Garden. Should be, should be all sorted in the next couple of months. Just need a bit more of the gold, as the old, uh, old, old Bob was on about. The old pirate gold. Uh, get some old wood chippings down there. And like I mentioned in the previous videos, pull up all that um, plastic and drop a couple of orders in. So, until tomorrow, um, me signing off, so I'll catch you later. All have a good one. Bye.